Hello my friends, I'm Alexander Stepanov and I'm presenting you the new tutorial. So now we fix uh, the very important problem. So we've got to fix uh, hard beaten nails. Okay, for fixing this problem we use uh, the special file for applying nail correction and we don't use cutter because we want to save the nail and we do something like filling the groove in the nail right in the, that place where uh, the client has injury and we should remove the product to the maximum from that place but if you've got some problems for removing product from the free edge, don't do that. Just remove it when you see the uh, the hole or the groove. Okay, we should apply everything very carefully. Please don't rush, because you can hurt the client. If it's if uh, you see the blood stop bleeding with the peroxide and don't work uh, with with broken nails when you see uh, uh, too much blood at first you should stop the bleeding and after work with nails so this is the common problem when clients uh, broke their nails especially when nail masters don't apply the special apex on nails um, the apex is the main thing to protect nails from injury and um, every master should know uh, this right and should apply uh, the protection when he or she uh, applies nail extension so but some sometimes the apex doesn't protect protect nails from injuries and uh, sometimes there are problems with get to fix and now at the at this moment I preparing nails for applying the product uh, at first I remove the cuticle using cutter and uh, apply gel primer and after primering nails I apply thin layer of, uh, of gel you can use clear gel or camouflage gel now you see the jar with the camouflage gel I prepared this gel uh, mixing two brands of gel uh, not exactly brand, brands but type of products types of products as you as you know I used uh, gels of the, the brand Canyon I don't advertise any brands and I think that this is the this, this is the common thing of my channel uh, I don't work with um, brands and ad advertise their products I just show how I do nails and the best product uh, for working with now at this moment I applied uh, right on in the groove I applied the gel okay and at this moment I noticed that my camouflage gel is not dry for fixing that problem I do the same I remove the gel from this groove as you can see on the video I removing it very carefully and very accurately and after curing in UV lamp in two or three minutes I again apply a camouflage gel on the nail plate right into the glue into the groove I again apply gel primer and 
thin layer of building gel. So you should control if uh, you should control the the layer. If it's too wide, uh, then you should uh, cure nails with more time. And after I apply the white layer of camouflage gel. So we get two layers. The first layer we apply into the groove. And the second layer is the builder builder layer with the apex. As I told you about, the apex is the common thing in male in male uh, extension. This is the upper dot of nail that protects from injury. So now I compare nails together and uh, creating the form of square square na na nails. I use the same file, and now I see that my uh, the, uh, the gel is okay, is dry enough and only then I continue filling and shaping nails so if you if I get some problems with my English please uh, tell me in comments uh, write down in comments my uh, mistakes and words uh, I should to I should to um, uh, tell correctly and more understandable for you because I work on my English and trying to speak better and trying to uh, tell more things about nail modeling because there are lots of secrets of nail modeling so now I'm shaping the square form this is form this form is uh, the hardest the most difficult form because there are lots of secrets of filling and shaping and modeling this form. It should have an arch. About this I'll tell you in my next videos. So I told you about nail products. I use gels of the brand Canny. I don't ad advertise this brand because this Chinese company. I tried to speak with them uh, about advertising but they uh, didn't answer my letters but I don't worry I don't I just give you advice to work uh, on these products because they are really cheap and the best for me because they are cheapest I don't want to pay a lot of money for the same products that uh, they are from the one barrel and uh, most of companies uh, maybe uh, maybe they they use this the same uh, the, the same gel and just place this gel in the expensive jars I don't exactly know but in my practice I feel that uh, cheapest brands are okay in work so you can use use it too and you will see the result and at at this moment I remove the gel under the, the nails as you can see um, so tell me please if you have any problems with the moving gel uh, underneath the nail uh, because sometimes the drill uh, running from you and twisting around the nail so this is the great problem about gels these nails is made uh, with the same gels, Canny Builder Gel uh, uh, Cover Pink. I don't remember the number of this Cover Pink gel, but I will Google and tell you in next videos. And right now I covering nails with Canny Gel Paints. Um, okay. Step by step, nail by nail, uh, I cover nails with uh, dark chocolate color. I didn't uh, make a record of this, the number of this color, but it 
looks beautiful and uh, similar like chocolate. You know, I adore chocolate and uh, like eating <laughs> this product every day. Um, and I think that all the rest of my friends too and my clients like this shades of colors and right you see on the another nail on the ring nail I apply uh, the later uh, shade of this of this uh, gel paint so you can mix uh, later you can mix, mix later shade uh, mixing white color or you can use another number of gel paint you can see right now I mix together and apply ombre effect on nails okay so one half of nail I covered with one gel gel paint and another half I add on another half I add lighter shade of gel paint and now with the flat brush I will try to make the gradient so as you can see I just uh, move my brush from up to down very accurately uh, with the same technique as we use in the one stroke technique we just apply the gradient so this is the very very fast gradient way of gradient if you like that don't forget to click that like button and uh, tell me tell your friends and you can share this video with your friends so and they will learn how to apply this amazing gradient using flat brush number five that I uh, uh, that I bought on the Aliexpress too so guys I want to show you how to mix gel paints together if you maybe don't have uh, some shades you like and some colors I just mix together yellow pink and uh, green color and now and I want to I want to achieve a uh, chocolate color and now I see it's a bit green so I I want to add a little bit pink paint so I get amazing chocolate effect as you can see on the video and you can uh, add, add a little bit white to make it uh, later and you can make the gradient using these colors so I wanted to draw roses but my client asked me to leave is as it so so okay I just cover nails with top gel cure it in your lamp one minute remove an inhibition layer using the rubbing alcohol and my and my nails are ready I also use coconut coconut oil for um, uh, as the last uh, at last and I think that this oil is the best for uh, for making nails and as a product for carrying nails so you see the result if you like that click that like button subscribe to my channel sh share these videos with your friends and watch the next video